Hi, and welcome to Aussie Kicks. On today's show, where well, we're going to be focusing on this, we're going to be building the TT01 Type E chassis with the Mercedes Benz 190E livery. Let's go away with the 190E body on it. Now, we're going to do something a little bit different as I have. Uh, built quite a few TT01 chassis on the show. I'll put a link to a detailed build of the chassis. So what we're gonna do in this episode is we're gonna focus more on the body. I know a lot of you would like some tips and tricks on how to up your game when it comes to painting and cutting out your body. So I think in this video, we will focus on that more, especially as this is quite a tricky livery as well. Right, let's crack on, build the chassis, and then we can focus on the body. So there you go, it's a pretty basic, easy chassis to build. I've put bearings in all the way through, including the steering. And also I was gifted these very snazzy and color appropriate shocks. Now these were sent in by a viewer. I didn't ask him if it was okay for me to mention him. So uh, he'll comment below. A uh, big thanks to him for sending those over because this kit really needs it. Friction shocks, no, no, not at all. These are lovely and obviously they kind of match the color of the body, so they look really good. But I can definitely recommend putting oil shocks and full bearings on this kit. One thing to watch out for when you put this top brace on, the screws you use in these holes are different. So don't just put any old screws in. Make sure you definitely check because you don't want to go through. Apart from that, pretty straightforward. I used a 12 kg half height servo, uh, link in the description. The Another upgrade that would be nice would be to upgrade the uh, steering so you can actually adjust it. It's pretty basic stuff, as well as changing the uh, dog bones, getting rid of those would be another option worth looking at if you uh, have got the money to blow on it a bit more. Right, next we move on to the body. And the body is a classic 190E, loads of detail thanks to Tamiya. We have the holes for the body already drilled in, but you have to do the aerial if you're gonna have an aerial pushing out the top. Uh, it comes with loads of detail and a separate grill and everything. So cutting this one out, not that difficult. The one thing that I found you've got to be careful of is these side sections are not straight. They actually curve in. The car itself has like a, a spoiler kit on it. So it kind of bends in and out. So you don't just trim straight across, you actually have to cut inward slightly. One thing I've always seen and people always struggle with is doing their arches. Well, one thing you can do is simply get a tin of spray paint, put a bit of rough sandpaper around it and then round them off yourself. So with the curved scissors, just cut round as best you can and then you can smooth it all off nicely with the um, sandpaper around the spray can. Great technique, works brilliantly, gives you very uniformed arches. And uh, another little tip for you that I do on all my bodies and it will help make your bodies last, when you get your corners, take a bit of the sandpaper and round them off. It makes the car look much more professional and uh, gets rid of your sharp edges, which again means that you're less likely to get a crack or anything like that. And if you sand all the way around, you remove any hairline cracks that you've created when you cut the body out and it just looks a little bit more professional. Take your time, don't rush it, don't hack at it. And another tip for you, when you close your scissors, don't close them all the way so they click. Cut them at two thirds and keep moving. The reason is when you shut the scissors completely, it actually creates a side crack. 
and that can actually fracture when you have a bit of a bang on the polycarbonate body. So that's something to watch out for. Once we've cut it out, next we move on to actually cleaning it. And we need to be very thorough with that, so we're gonna clean it. So let's do that next. Right, after quite a bit of masking up, unfortunately I seem to have misplaced my masking tape, so I've had to use my Tamiya tape for the whole thing, so obviously that took a bit longer. Now what I do is I use the edging tape from Tamiya, then I use masking tape, and that's how I get my sharp lines. I went round with a hairdryer as well to really get the glue nice and sticky on the uh, masking tape, and then push it all down. The key is you've really got to get into all the little nooks and crannies, because that's where your overspray comes from. Now in this kit it actually comes with edging stickers to give you a sharp line if you don't paint it But obviously if you put a bit of effort into it You can get to the point where you don't need them So that's what I'm going to try and do today The hardest one on this one is around this corner here and here that's where you're going to get overspray Unfortunately, it's going to show as well. So uh, lots of attention pushing down the tape in this area. Also, you're looking for any air bubbles along the line. So it's time to put the green paint on. Wish me luck. So there you go, that's four layers of green, and then I've backed it with three coats of white. Eventually it's gonna be black, but now what we need to do is remove all the masking tape, then we do the gold, then we do white again, and then we do black to finish off. Um, it all went quite nicely. The only problem I had was what I expected around the corner. This side came up perfectly fine, but the white portion of the edging tape lifted in the corner, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I would go about fixing that. So next we need to take off all the masking tape and then see what our lines are like and then we're going to fettle any problems that we've got. So let's take the masking tape off and see how we got on. So there you go, all done, cleaned up nicely. The edges are lovely and sharp, super happy. Fix the problem areas that I had here and here with a bit of polycarbonate cleaner. Be careful, it's very strong, especially when you're trying to use it on fresh paint because it takes it off really easy. Now the tricky bit is to try and keep the line as straight as possible. So just go very gently with it and you'll actually take off the thinner layer before you start eating into the thicker layer. 
What's next now? I've got to get the gold out, spray the gold, spray it white, then spray it all black, then take the windows out, then tint the windows. So there's a lot to do, so let's just keep going. many hours it's starting to come together yep i'm super chuffed with it no issues at all the lines are razor sharp exactly what i was trying to get and i'm really happy with it even with the mistakes around the back i managed to pull it off and they are fine so i won't need to use the decal lines which will just make the kit that little bit better now what's next well you think it's the decals but it's not there's a few things we need to do to raise the kit even more the rear spoiler is in green and then you use a gold sticker on it that's not what i'm going to do what i'm going to do is glue the rear spoiler together sand it down i'm going to spray it green then i'm going to lacquer it and then you use gold decals on the top section i'm actually going to mask it off and paint those the wheels if you notice the wheels are a plastic gold color but they don't match so i'm going to paint up all four wheels as well to lift the kit a bit more then we've got to do all the decals all the front grille so there's still a lot to do so let's keep on going <laughs> 